Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is show you all how I write my organizational structure of a business plan. When I write my books, the, this is a similar example that I include them. And also when I write my business plans for clients, this is again a similar example or structure as how to, I usually go ahead and uh, present the organizational structure information. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the important components of, a, of an organizational structure portion of a business plan. The first thing that I like to address in the organizational structure is going to be the legal structure. You know, is it a sole proprietor? Is it a limited liability company? Is it a corporation? Let the reader know what the legal structure is going to be. For that portion, you really don't have to give a lot of information. It's actually best if you don't. Just tell them what it's going to be. However, in contrast, for the business structure, the business side of the organizational structure, you do want to give them a, um, you do want to show that you have a working understanding of the company, and you do want to show them that you have an understanding of what each position is going to do, and you want to go ahead and add credibility, and I'll show you how to do that. So the important um, components of the business structure portion of the organizational structure portion of the business plan is going to be job positions, job description, and a chart. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and um, let me show you an example. So when I go ahead and write up my organizational structure, the first thing I'm going to do is title the section organizational structure. That's going to let the reader know exactly what to expect, that you're going to be talking about the interior workings of your business. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a legal structure. One sentence is enough. ABC restaurant will be a limited liability corporation. You don't want to go any further in my most humble opinions because this section is going to be focused on the interior operations of your business, but you do want to touch on and show that you, you do have a legal structure and it is a, an actual structure. So you want to touch on it in the organizational structure. All right, next thing that I like to touch on is going to be your management summary. For the management summary, don't go crazy about talking about the owner. Yes, the owner is important, but the owner is not supposed to be the star of the show. You want the star of the show to be the company. And that's why you don't want to go into, you know, four or five paragraphs about a bio of how great the founder is. It, I'm sure they are great, but this is not the place to talk about them. So for the management section, you know, touch on your CEO, you know, maybe touch on your management team if they're going to be there for a while. But definitely touch on the CEO and the executive team. Four or five sentences is plenty. Talk about their background. Show that they've got experience. And, you know, again, four or five sentences is plenty for the management section. The next section is going to be your job responsibilities. So for the job responsibilities, you don't have to list every single job that's going to be in the business. That could be four or five, you know, that could be a lot of work. Not only that, but it would be disproportional. You would have too much information regarding your operational um, structure as compared to other sections of the business plan, you, and you want to keep them in you know, proportion. So for this part right here, touch on for the job responsibilities, maybe four or five positions, and then again, four or five bullet points just telling the reader that you know what the CEO is going to do, you know what the general manager is going to do, you know what your cook is going to do, you know what your servers are going to do. So this is going to show that you understand the interior operations of the business. You understand what each position is going to do, but you, again, you're not killing people with the details. The next section is going to be a little bit more detail oriented, but it's now visual. People are able to take in visual cues quicker and they're going to be able to understand it better. Um, that's why I give more information in my organizational chart. So for example, with this right here, We've got the CEO, then underneath the CEO, we've got the general manager, and then we've got front of house manager, back of house manager, and then we've got the server, the host, the cook, and the dishwasher. Now with this, just one chart right here, this does a couple of things for you. First, it shows the chain of command. Your servers and hosts report to the front of house manager, your cook and your dishwasher report to your back of house manager, your front of house and your back of house both report to the general manager, and the general manager is going to be reporting to the CEO. So this again is further shows that you've got a working knowledge of how the business is going to operate, and you also understand the chain of command aspect as well. 
So hopefully this information is helpful and you have a better understanding as to how to structure and write your organizational structure and portion of the business plan. If you do want some more details, um, please go ahead and um, just Google on Amazon or just go to Amazon and you can pick up my book, How to Write a Business Plan in 10 Steps. And um, this right here is in Kindle and also on paperback. And also, if you need some more help writing a business plan, I, I do write business plans for clients. Just go to Quality Business Plan um, by Paul, Paul Borowski, MBA, and get in contact with me. And I would be absolutely delighted to help you all out with writing a business plan. So hopefully this information was helpful and, um, you know, great success to writing your business plan. If you all need some help, give me a shout. Thanks a lot.